Okay, so I'm going to do a savory juice recipe, and I'm pretty much just using things that I have in my refrigerator, so if you don't have all of these ingredients, you can use some ingredients, not everything, um, but this is just so I'm, you know, getting rid of things that I have. I don't want anything to go bad. I don't want to waste anything. Um, so just to let you know the things I have, which I snapped a few pictures of things, but just to sort of name everything off one by one. I have a wedge of cabbage here, and this is just regular cabbage that you can buy at pretty much any grocery store. I have a few stalks of celery here, same thing with that. This is, this, this is organic celery, but you can use regular celery, whatever you have available. I've got a um, thick cut of onion. This is a yellow onion that I'm using. I have one beet, because I happen to have a few beets, and so I figured I'll, th I'll throw a beet into my uh, savory recipe. I have a piece of red bell pepper here, and I also have some Roma tomatoes. Um, I'm using, let's see, the two in my hand, three, four, five, six, seven total of these Roma tomatoes. And I'm also going to juice a lemon. Which I sort of like um, lemon in, to, in my tomato juice. Like if you've ever drunk one of those V8s that has lemon in it, I like that. So that's why I'm choosing to put a citrus into my savory juice because I like that citrus taste. So if you don't like that, you don't have to include this. Um, just to pack in the extra greens, um, I'm also going to do a whole head of romaine. And then for my um, other greens, I'm going to do a whole bunch of cilantro and then I also have a little bit tiny little bit of arugula left and one of my friends actually was asking me about arugula and had I ever tried it in a juice and I haven't so this is my first time putting arugula in if you've ever tasted arugula by itself it sort of has a peppery taste to it it's a really distinct flavor. A lot of times you have arugula in your spring mix, if you ever buy the prepackaged spring mix. So it's good stuff. I'm going to try it in a juice today and see how it goes. So Let's go ahead and get to juicing. I'm going to turn the machine on and I'm going to run these things through. Um, same thing like I've mentioned before. If I do something that's a little bit more fibrous, then I'll run through something that has a higher water content after it. So let's say after I do the cilantro, I might do my head of lettuce just to wash the extra juice out into my container. That way I'm getting everything. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with my greens. I got out of the whole bunch of that cilantro so you can see it's not a whole lot but that's what's going to give my savory juice that kick that I'm looking for that cilantro and that arugula it's a very dark color I'm not sure how good you can see that but it's a um, you know a very dark green color the juice of that cilantro and that arugula mixed together so pretty excited to taste how that's going to um, flavor this juice Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue with the um, romaine lettuce next. One thing I failed to mention, which I'm always forgetting something, but I also have two small cloves of garlic. Now, the last savory juice I did, it was a tad on the garlicky side, so I sort of toned my garlic down a little bit. So I'm going to do two small cloves into this mixture, okay? So let's continue.
that I showed you guys so um, this is about hmm about 26 ounces of juice that I got from that so some people may ask the question you know why not just eat your vegetables and that's a very good point you know because technically you could try to eat all of that but you know being realistic how many of us really sit down and eat that big a quantity of vegetables at one sitting, you know? Um, that's one reason why. is because you get more nutrients by juicing. Because you, even if you do include vegetables in your diet, it's normally not that high of a um, quantity. So, this is where the juicing is, is sort of optimal to get those nutrients into your body. Second thing is, your body is going to have to work to digest that. These vegetables have a lot of good natural fiber in them, and fiber is very good for you, but sometimes if you're giving your digestive uh, system a break, juicing will still give you the nutrients without having to break down as much of the fiber. Now, you're still going to have some of the fiber in the juice, but obviously not as much as eating it in its whole form. So this is definitely one of those things that you just have to wrap your brain around to, uh, to really appreciate. But juicing is, is so beneficial. We have so many um, people who have lived healthier lives and people who have benefited from including juicing into their diet. Not saying you replace eating vegetables by juicing. This is how you supplement your vegetable intake is by juicing. Now, for the past 10 days, I have been doing a 10 days of juicing challenge. So I have been just juicing, not eating any whole foods or any, any food in particular at all. Okay? So that means nothing. I've only been drinking my food. Um, this is something that I've decided to do, you know, on my own because I've researched it and I believe in the benefits of it. So, um, you know, do your research. Look at any website, go to Google or Bing or Yahoo, search juicing and search the benefits of juicing and see for yourself how it's helped other people and then decide if it's something that's right for you. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up and then we'll um, taste the juice. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got everything cleaned up and I've got my juice poured here in my nice to-go cup. So, my first time tasting this and you'll see my face. That way you'll know what it really tastes like. You can probably tell by my face. So, here we go. Here is the face for the taste. It's good. It's good. What does it remind me of? It reminds me of something. Can't put my finger on it. But you can definitely taste the cilantro. You can taste the peppery, pepper, pepperiness of the arugula. If that's a word. Pepperiness. <laughs> but um, it tastes really good. Now, I chose to put three stalks of celery in here. Knowing what celery tastes like. So any of you people who have juiced celery before, you know sometimes celery will take over your juice. So the celery is very prominent in this mixture. I personally don't mind that. I like that. Um, it tastes good to me. But if you do not want the celery to take over your mixture, only limit it to one stalk or don't put it in at all. Okay? But... Happy juicing. <laughs> 